As we have now entered a new year of 2022, there are hopes for new, positive changes. But alas, some things never change. Horrible maps still exist, and I still get sent plenty from my viewers. In fact, this series is now at its 10th episode, which should give you an idea about how many bad maps are constantly being made. So let's get straight into it. First, from Jacob, we have a map showing U.S. Census regions. It, uh, seems rather, uh, incomplete in terms of the regions here, but the biggest sin, in my opinion, is something I've noticed many statistical-type maps are guilty of, and that's adding water territory to the land territory. Hence why Michigan has somehow turned into this weird singular shape that almost looks like a Minecraft villager lowering his head in shame. Similarly, Chesapeake Bay has been partitioned by Maryland and Virginia. Really, any coastal state you can notice at least tiny changes because of that. And I personally find that really annoying, so this map gets a 5 out of 10. From Stephen, we have a map that shows shipping routes to the U.S. state of Florida. You'll notice that a lot of northern islands are missing, but also these coasts are just very sloppy and simplified. Like, I guess if the information on shipping is at least technically accurate, then I guess it does its job. Wait, why did they label the Netherlands and France? Why is Singapore and Eastern Indonesia? There's always something, isn't there? Four out of ten. From Noah, we have a map sent in from some sort of game. I'm guessing based off of the horrible quality that it's a mobile game, but to be honest, I don't recognize it, so I can't say. It's set during World War II in Europe, and I never thought I'd see a map that actually looks worse than the Axis and Allies board game map. Seeing the Balkans just squeezed dry like that down there is just so painful. 4 out of 10. Next, from another viewer named Noah, we have a world map divided into six canvases. I'm going to take a guess that this map is more meant for a weird sort of modern style of decoration than actually using it. And I really can't be that harsh on it because of that. But Canada is missing islands again. Greenland has entirely disappeared. And maybe they couldn't have fit it anyway because the Atlantic Ocean is also a lot smaller in length here than it actually is in reality. And a lot of seas have dried up too with the same idea. But it's relatively harmless enough. 6 out of 10. From the Rain Man 77, we have a map of the world during the 18th century. So it says, because I'm honestly not sure where to begin. This map is very confused about what century it's in. The label says 18th, which sort of explains colonial America, although Spain wouldn't possess the Louisiana Territory until after France had already lost its North American holdings. And I have no idea why British Canada randomly owns Idaho and Wyoming when it never did. But then also over here, the German Empire is shown, which did not exist in the 18th century at all. But it also has it controlling northern Italy, so maybe it meant the Holy Roman Empire, but that also wouldn't be accurate for the Holy Roman Empire in the 17th century. I don't know. The Ottomans also have this weird funky shape where their borders have kind of matched up with modern borders, sort of, in Europe. But then for some reason they show the British controlling Jordan and Iraq, which they wouldn't until after World War I. Also, why does the Netherlands own Denmark? Honestly, the more I look at it, the worse it gets. 2 out of 10. From Anonymous, we have a map, or at least a display of the outlines of the Allied powers of World War II for the European theater. I suppose for the European theater of World War II, these are the main five allied powers, so to speak, but aside from the United States, these each have their own issues. The UK did not own Ireland anymore by World War II, and for some reason the Isle of Great Britain is really warped, almost like it's one of those, like, weather maps. France, meanwhile, has a weird sideways lowercase i-shaped chunk taken out of it, and is missing the island of Corsica for some reason. Poland is given post-World War II borders rather than pre-World War II borders. And then the Soviet Union... Well, I... I don't even know what they were thinking of with this one. They show the Soviet Union missing a whole chunk of their northern coastline, but for some reason they own Turkey and Iran. I, I don't know what they were thinking. Two out of ten. For our final map, we <laughs> have a map of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> nope, out of 10. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can support this channel by subscribing, watching another video, or joining my Patreon, where you can see many projects done early. I'm Emperor Tigerstar, and I'll see you guys next time.